We're going to jump right into this one today. Let's demonstrate the three primary methods of filling a handheld grease gun. Prior to filling your grease gun, please make sure the follower assembly is in the correct orientation for the method you choose to use. The follower, with the help of the spring behind it, pushes on the grease in the tube, forcing it into the head of the grease gun. We have two versions of this follower. The current follower looks like a large cone and is designed to work in either cartridges or bulk filling without the need to reconfigure each time the method is changed. The previous design looks like an umbrella with the wiper edges folded down towards the T-handle. This is the cartridge loading configuration. The bulk filling configuration requires the edges to be folded forward, so the wiper edges are flared out more to compensate for the absence of the grease cartridge and completely seal the tube. So on to the first fill method. This is the suction loading method. We will be partially submerging the open end of the tube assembly in an open container of grease, so completely clean off the open end of the tube assembly to reduce chances of contaminating the bulk container with any loose debris. Insert and completely submerge the open end of the tube assembly into the open container of grease. Slowly pull back on the T-handle and draw grease into the tube. During this draw, if you feel a break in the suction of grease into the tube, push the lubricant back into the bulk container to expel the air pocket. Push down again into the grease and draw back on the handle again. Continue to pull the rod up slowly until the rod notch is visible and you can lock it onto the end cap. Remove the tube from the container and wipe off any excess grease. Then reinstall the grease gun head onto the tube assembly. Release the rod from the end cap notch and be sure to purge the air pocket that may form between the tube and the head before use. This was the original filling procedure before the introduction of the bulk filling pump system and later the standardized grease cartridge. While a valid method to fill the tube, one major issue to be aware of with this procedure is contamination. The bulk container must be open for this process, which may lead to dirt and foreign material entering the containers. I do not normally recommend filling this way unless as a last resort. Additionally, many locations have policies prohibiting open containers. So let's check out the next more sanitary method of filling that fits these requirements. This is one of our 120 pound bulk filler lever pumps. We also offer this pump assembly in a 35 pound configuration. These pumps are specifically set up for bulk filling grease guns through an attached filler nipple. Great for the work site that moves through grease quickly and are working to reduce costs and waste. Cartridges can get pricey when used in mass quantity, not to mention the pileup of empty cartridges requiring disposal. However, receiving grease in a bulk container, such as this 120 pound drum, may be cheaper and less of an environmental impact in the long run. Most guns will arrive with a bulk fill nipple already installed. If your gun does not have one, this filler nipple 91108 is available separately. As stated previously for the suction method, verify which follower you have installed on your gun and that it is in the correct orientation for bulk filling. To fill the grease gun, simply insert the nipple into the special filler coupler, press down to open the check in the filler coupler, then begin to pump lubricant into the gun. Stop after a few cycles of the manual bulk fill pump and ensure the rod is engaged to the follower. This will help show grease level in the tube assembly. Stop when the locking rod notch and the end cap notch line up. This is the point of maximum capacity for the tube. Twist the T-handle with a little pressure and slide it into the tube out of the way. Grease gun is filled and ready for use. Bulk filling is fast and actually increases the capacity a grease gun can hold. Normal cartridge loading is typically limited to around 14 to 14 and a half ounces. Bulk filling increases this capacity to around 16 ounces. The last filling method is the more common cartridge fill method. On the grease guns with a flippable follower, be sure they are configured like this so that the follower will fit into the cartridge. The cone style does not require any changes in configuration. With the tube assembly in hand, pull the handle back and lock the rod into the end cap notch. Remove the plastic cap from the bottom end of the grease cartridge and insert into the tube assembly. Remove the pull tab or plastic cap from the exposed end of the cartridge, then reinstall to the head of the grease gun. Finish by purging the air pocket from between the tube and head. For more detailed explanation on priming a grease gun, be sure to check out our video on how to prime a grease gun. Those are the fill options for our handheld grease guns. If you have any further questions about the methods shown today, please contact our technical support staff or local area representative for assistance. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.